Hi everyone, it's Veronica and happy Saturday to you. I'm so excited to be filming this video because this is my official Toronto haul and I'm also going to include a few other things that I didn't buy in Toronto so I don't have to film two separate videos. Um, but I'm happy to be back on YouTube and I'm happy to say hello to all of my subscribers and speaking of which I want to give a shout out to one of my readers, Anna. Um, I actually met her at an LCBO store in Toronto and I was so embarrassed because I was with my husband and um, one of our friends, one of my friends' husbands um, and the three of us were picking up some alcohol for a party we were going to later um, for another one of my friend's husbands, his 30th birthday and we had like so many bottles of liquor and I just looked at her and I, I said, oh my gosh, these are, are not all for us. So. Anyways, Anna, it was so nice to meet you and it was so random to kind of run into one of my readers in Toronto since I don't live there anymore. So that was very cool. And then I also want to say hi to another one of my readers, Amanda, who I met today while I was shopping at J. Crew. So it's just such a small world and we realized we had a friend in common. And anyways, I always like to give little shout outs when I meet people in person because I think it's so fun. Okay. Oh, I need to take a deep breath before we start all of this. So basically our Toronto trip was absolutely amazing. I loved seeing all of my family and friends and the shopping I must say was absolutely incredible. Um, and I guess I'll just start with what I'm wearing since that seems the most logical order to do it in. And there is a store in Toronto called Aritzia. There are some locations um, throughout the US. I know there's one in Dallas, but Dallas is about a four and a half, five hour drive for me. So I don't make the trip up there to shop there, but I did shop there while I was in Toronto. And one of the things I got was this Tallulah brand boyfriend shirt. And I'm gonna stand up so you can kind of get a gist of how it fits. It's sort of loose fitting, but at the same time, it's fairly tailored. And this shirt was $60, which I think is an incredible price for a dress shirt that's this nicely um, done, considering, you know, other stores like J. Crew and even Zara, you know, their dress shirts are um, usually more than that. Um, and then I loved this shirt so much that I actually ended up also getting it in white. So um, I'm going to zoom in on the tag there. So the brand is Tallulah, T-A-L-U-L-A, -L -L and it's called the Boyfriend Fit. And I got mine in a size small. So again, I got the white one and the one I'm wearing is like a light lavender color. And it's just incredibly flattering. Um, these shirts are well made, well tailored, um, really nice details like the, the collars have the, you know, the blue lining on this one. This one's got a white one. They're just beautiful shirts and I'm just very happy that I sort of discovered them there. Um, and then, let me just put this back. And then from Aritzia, I also got this um, same brand, Tallulah. Um, it's a blazer. This one is navy blue and this retails for, um, $120 I want to say with tax it was about $140 and for a classic navy blue blazer I really think that's a good investment so I'm not too concerned with the cost. I got a size 4. The thing I love about this one is it looks very flattering on and it has these large front pockets um, and then the little sleeves have the detailing with the roll up and actually they had this in like black and gray and a bunch of other colors and I wanted to buy it in every color but I figured I didn't already have a navy blazer and I already have two black ones and I have a bunch of bright ones so navy was really a staple piece that I'm so glad um, I purchased for my wardrobe. So that's everything I got from Aritzia um, and then I'll quickly show you this tank top I got at Gap. Um, so this is from the Gap, is it Gap Body? Yes this is from the Gap Body line and I'm not normally really a fan of like light blue and peaches, but for some reason this top really spoke to me because it starts off with a blue and then it ombres into a lilac, which ombres into a peach and then eventually like a bright orange color. And this was only $22.95, but for some reason it rang up for like $20, which I thought was a really amazing price. Um, so it's a really nice stretchy tank top. It's long and then it has the racer back. So I just thought that was really nice just for wearing around or, you know, to wear to work out. I mean, it's a pretty versatile tank top. You could even wear it like under a blazer and it would look really nice. Um, and then let me go to, let's do Shoppers Drug Mart first. So Shoppers Drug Mart is kind of like the Canadian version of like a CVS or a Walgreens, except it's way better now and redesigned. So now Shoppers Drug Mart stores have like a high end skincare and makeup area which means you can buy like brands that you can buy at sephora and then also like amazing skincare brands like la roche posay and vichy and then biotherm and a bunch of other ones so while i was there i picked up a refill of my epiclair cleanser 
And this pump top, it didn't come with a pump top, it, it came with a different top, but I just put the pump top from my last bottle onto this one because it's easier. And then I got three of the Effaclair products and they, they do have new packaging now, which I love. The first one is the Targeted Breakout Corrector Effaclair AI. For some reason, they do not, not um, make this or even, it's not even available in the United States, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I stockpile on this if I travel in Europe or Canada, I always get a bunch of these. So I picked up one of those. Um, I got the Effaclair Duo Double Action Acne Treatment. Um, as you all know, my skin's kind of experiencing some acne breakouts if you read my blog. Actually, I'm currently experiencing a breakout right now on my chin, um, just on the one side. And I've actually come to the conclusion that my breakouts are hormonally triggered. They do, on uh, my skin, for like the first two and a half, three weeks of the month will be pretty good. Like hardly any breakouts, looks really clear, you know, not a lot of issues. But then like right, um, you know, before that time of the month, um, I will get a massive breakout of like two, three or four cystic pimples that are very painful under the skin. So the Effaclair Duo has amazing reviews online. So I did um, buy this and I'm using it every night as a preventative treatment. And then I also purchased the Effaclar K and it says it's um, renovating care for oily skin and anti-relapse. So this is supposed to be for oily skin and also it's supposed to help um, prevent pimples from coming back. And I'm actually using this on my nose and forehead a lot to reduce my pore size and I'm really enjoying this. Um, and I'll do an updated skincare routine. I just did one a couple weeks ago, but as I continue to use these products and incorporate them in, I'll talk about how they're working because um, I've only been using them for the last week or so. Then I got the Norma Der Vichy Laboratories Norma Derm Pro Matte SPF 15 Ultra Mattifying Moisturizer. Uh, right now I'm applying this to my nose and my forehead um, instead of my regular moisturizer and then the rest of my face just gets the regular one because for summer I like to use something mattifying. So that's the package right there. I'm really enjoying that plus it has an SPF 15 so you can't go wrong. Um, so that's everything I got at Shoppers and honestly La Roche Posay is such a wonderful skincare line. I truly believe it's one of the best out there. Um, it's kind of the same way I feel about brands like Kerastase. I just feel like it is worth the money. It's a little more expensive than drugstore brand stuff, but it is honestly incredible. Um, okay, now we're going to H&M because I'm so excited to show you everything I got there. As you all know, um, if you live in Houston, the first H&M store opened here um, on Thursday, May the 31st, a day after my birthday. So it was kind of like a birthday present, but I haven't gone yet because it's at Baybrook Mall, which is um, quite a drive for me, but I do plan on going there. I'll probably shop there about once a month just to drive down there and, or once every, you know, six weeks to see what they have. But while I was in Toronto, I was able to hit up like three different H&M stores. I went to one at Yorkdale Mall and I went to one on Queen Street. So I went to a few different ones, um, but I did end up purchasing everything at the Yorkdale Mall store. I didn't purchase anything at any of the other locations and I'll show you what I got. Um, so let me just show you this first tank. So this is just a tank top and it's like a shop, shop, shocking hot pink. And I got this in a size small and I think this was $9.95 and it's super loose and long. So I figured this tank top is something that I could wear um, just for like running errands and to work out in. But also you could wear this tank like tucked into a skirt for work because it's kind of looser and nice. And you could wear a nice long necklace with it and then throw a blazer on top. And it's a nice pop of pink under that blazer. So I really like that. And for $10, what a great um, investment. And then um, I got these two dresses. So if you read my blog, you've already seen the pink one. They're both size small. And then um, it's just a simple cotton dress with a little zipper on the back. Um, a lot of people have been asking for the style number on this one. And um, the tag's not on it. Let me check if this one still has the tag on it. No. No tag. Okay. Gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. I thought, I thought it might. The tag on the inside doesn't have any indication of, like, any kind of style number. But... They're pretty easy to find. I did find these dresses at every location I went to. It's just a simple cotton dress. It has little pockets on the side um, and then the zipper on the back. So I got the fluorescent pink and the mint green and they're not long enough to wear to work, but they're really nice, comfortable sort of summer dresses like just to wear around. I actually might wear one later today when we go to a music festival. Um, so I really like these. I think they were, um, they were either 20, 20 or $30, um, and I just thought um, they're really cute for summer and very comfortable, especially because they're cotton, so the fabric's really breathable. Um, let's see, what else did I get there? All right, bikini time. This is like, 
these are a mess because I just put them on a hanger so I could have easy access. So I bought a couple bikinis at H&M and the first one was $19.95 and I just got a top to this. So this is a top that actually has a bra size and it fits like a bra um, and this is it. And the reason I really love this, number one, it fits, it fits like a bra and it's very comfortable and supportive, but it has these cute little gold um, like things on the strings. So the nice thing about this is like you could tuck in the straps and just wear it as a bondo, or you could have this around your neck. Um, and it's really cute. And then the back has a little gold um, fixture as well. And then the, I like how the, the, just like the little details about how like the little tie strings have the gold on it too. I just thought that was really nice. And for $20, I think that's a great price considering how many bikini companies out there charge a ton for them. So I was really excited about that. The second top I got, believe it or not, this was $5.95. I kid you not. Um, I got this in a size, a US 10. <laughs> it does not look like a 10. The H&M sizing is very strange. Like some things I need like a 10 there and some things I can wear like a size small. It's very strange. But this top is a Bondo and the first one had padding. So this has no padding and it's a paisley print. Um, and as you can see, the bottom kind of has like a flat um, part and then the, the top curves almost like a sweetheart neck and that's the back. And this just looked really cute on, um, it was, it was comfortable. It does have the wire on the sides there to so, sort of hold everything in. So I really like that. And for $5, I mean, how can you go wrong? Um, and then the last bikini I got, so these were $17.95 per each piece. The top I got in a size 10, obviously, because I almost bought a size eight, but I'm telling you, I, I, it was verging on like showing a little too much. And look at these gorgeous little details. I mean, it has the little tie strings that look like sort of a nautical rope. And then it has the same material with the little gold pieces and little gold piece in the middle. And it's like a gorgeous like palm print, neon print, neon yellow and, um, and nude. So I just thought that was so pretty. And then the bottoms I got in a size eight. Um, like I said, their sizing is a little bit inconsistent, but I didn't want my butt showing and, um, that is them. And then of course they have the little tassels on the side that are so cute. And that's the back. So thank goodness. It's not going to show your whole butt. It's a little bit of a higher coverage bottom, but I had to upsize to get that more coverage. And since it's a tie string, it's not really a big deal because you can adjust it as needed. So I really love all of those bikinis. And that is actually all I got at H and M. So maybe this video is not as long as I thought it was going to be, although I'm already at almost like 12 minutes. Okay, next up, gosh, like I nearly died when I got these um, and I'll tell you why. So around Christmas time, Lululemon came out with a color called Paris Pink. And a lot of you will remember, I have the zip up Define jacket in that color and the Cross My Heart um, sports bra. And I always wanted, everybody knows I love, um, I do have a Lululemon collection video, by the way, I'll link it below, but everybody knows I wanted to get the Lululemon Wonder Under Crops in the Paris Pink. Well, by the time I went to go and get them, they were completely sold out at every store in my area. And I just thought to myself, I was kicking myself. I should have gotten them. I should have gotten them. So while I was in Toronto, I went into every Lululemon store I saw because um, I just thought, well, what if they have them? And I thought, well, it's unlikely because they kind of came out around the holidays, but you never know. And I went to one store, two store, three stores, none of them had them. And then suddenly I'm walking down Queen Street and I see a Lululemon store and I think in my head, oh, what are the, what are the odds? I doubt it. But I said, you know what? I'm going to go in there anyways. And wouldn't you know it, they had two pairs left, a size six and a size eight, which I could both fit into both of them. So I ended up getting the six and here they are. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So that's the little logo on the back and they're the crops. And um, I just love this Paris pink color. They're just awesome and it's so bright and as a legging it's so fun to like wear these instead of your typical black ones so um these retailed for 68 canadian so i really love these i'm so happy i got them um i'm such a nerd i'm sorry I'm, i just got so excited because i couldn't believe that they actually had them um because i have been searching for them for so long okay the next thing i'm going to show you and this is actually something my in-laws got me when they were in italy and it's from a store called furla it's like a leather goods kind of designer and they got me this gorgeous baby pink soft scarf like how amazing is that i don't know if you can tell up close but it's it's sheer and it's kind of got like some polka dots on it and almost like a honeycomb pattern as well so this is just so beautiful i mean you can just wear it in so many different ways you could just wrap it around your neck um you could even wear it as like i mean i wouldn't do this because it's an expensive scarf but you could like tie it around your waist when you're on vacation as like a swimsuit cover up um, I mean, it's really long and it's also really wide. 
as you can see. So there's really a lot that you can do with this scarf and it's so beautiful and I'm just so lucky that I have such awesome in-laws and that they got me this beautiful gift. So thank you so much. Um, and then let me show you these makeup brushes next. So these makeup brushes were sent to me by a company called Soho New York or Soho London and New York. Um, and so I got the blush brush and I got to pick these out myself. Basically the company contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review their makeup brushes. I checked out the website. They looked nice. They looked pretty high quality. So I said yes. And I picked my brushes. So the one of them I picked was the blush brush. Um, the other one, and I have this one open cause I've already used it. This is the powder brush. So it's really nice and soft and I like how the handles are long. Um, so that's the powder. And then I got the Kabuki. Ooh. So it's coming out of the pack. So this one's cool. It has a base. So see how it looks like a little sort of egg shape on the bottom. It has a little base that you can stand it in like a little, like a little doll, those little like Russian dolls that kind of just stand up. So, um, yeah, really soft. So I haven't used the Kabuki yet, but I plan to, I kind of wanted to show you guys, um, in the packaging. And then I got a concealer brush because everybody knows I love concealer. I think it's kind of the key to good skin. And I also got one of their angled eyeliner brushes. So I plan to use these in the next sort of upcoming weeks and let you all know how they are. Um, and then I think they're also doing a giveaway with me. So one of you will be able to win some brushes as well. Okay. Today I went shopping and this is another one of the um, Lululemon Paris pink moments because I have literally been waiting for these shoes to be available in my size for over a month, at least, if not more than that. And a lot of you will remember, I did show these in a previous video and they're these heels from Zara. I bought these over a month ago. I would say, I would even say like six or seven weeks ago. And I bought them in a size 10 and they were too small. So I needed an 11, but they just never had, oh no, these are a 10. I'm sorry. I bought them in a size nine, which was a 40. Yeah. So I bought them in a size nine, which was a 40, but they were a little too tight around the toes. So I got them in a 41, which is a 10. And th they look like this here. Let me bring both of them out. And they're only $50, which is amazing. So they look like this. They have the high back and then the sandal at the front. It's just, they're so simple, but they're such a beautiful shoe because they're great for like, you know, evenings out. You can wear them to work. I mean, they're not too provocative. They cover a lot of your toes. They have the high back, but it's just such a pretty sandal. And for only $50, I mean, they never had them available online in my size. I would keep going back and checking and they said, oh, we're restocking, we're restocking. And then that never happened. So I finally got them in my size and I could not be more thrilled because I was honestly worried that like I would never own them and then they would just be gone. They had them in my store today. So ladies, persistence is worth it because they did have them in my store today and I was able to get a pair um, because you know, I checked every single time I shopped there to see if they had gotten a new shipment. So sometimes they do and they will have them. The last things I got, um, today I went to J. Crew. I ordered this skirt online. So this is one of their number two pencil skirts. Everyone knows that I'm a huge fan of these. And this is in, this is one called succulent green. So this is, oh wait, let me fix it. So this is the back and then this is the front. And it's just a really nice cut. So these are the cotton ones. The other three pencil skirts I have from J. Crew that are number two are double serge wool. So this is double serge cotton. And actually I had originally ordered this in my regular size two. Um, and you know, they do stretch a bit, but the two was almost so fitted that it wasn't comfortable. So I ended up going up to a four and the four is a little too large for me in the waist, but I just feel like the four is a better choice because it doesn't look like it's just sucking me in. And then another thing I've really been thinking about too, is that if I keep buying all of my clothes to fit really, really fitted, I'm never going to be able to wear any of them. Like if, or when I get pregnant one day and you know, we do want to have kids and I just don't want it to be like, okay, all my clothes are already like really, really fitted now. So if I gain a few pounds, like none of them will fit me. So I think going up to the four is a wise choice um, and I can't wait to wear it. So that's it. And it, the color is called succulent green and it's the number two pencil skirt. And then I just couldn't resist this. This is like, of course, of course I got another pink sweater. So this is the, I think this is called the teepee sweater and it's a hundred percent linen. And that is why I bought it. So it's, it's obviously shocking hot pink and, um, it's super lightweight and the fabric is very breathable again, because it's made of linen. And I got this in a size small, by the way. 
Um, so I decided to get it because I don't have any sort of three quarter sleeve sweaters like this. I don't own anything that's like this that's a sweater. And I've noticed that like a few of my coworkers have worn like sort of lightweight sweaters to work and I always wondered, well, aren't they really hot? But to be honest with you, we spend all of our days inside an office and when we leave the office, we're in an air conditioned car. And this is meant to be one of those lightweight summer sweaters. So I'm really excited that I got this. And this retails for $72.50. Um, so again, the three quarter sleeves. Really like it, really happy I got it. Oh, and this number two pencil skirt I wanted to mention is on sale right now for $59.99 in stores. I originally ordered the size two on jcrew.com and I think it came to like 70 something because it was on sale, but they actually gave me money back and put it towards the sweater I bought because it was even more on sale in the actual store. So um, they also have this in other colors in the store that are also on sale. So you should definitely go and check it out if you want, you know, if you've always wanted to try the J. Crew number two pencil skirt, but you never wanted to pay full price. I think they're about 118 full price. Please go to the store right now. They have lots of sizes left in my location um, at the Galleria Mall. So check them out. They have like pink, green, purple, um, a color called like neon rose or something. So they have lots of colors left. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to pick one up at your local J. Crew. Um, and I think that's everything. I'm looking around. Um, I think that's all of the stuff that I got kind of in Toronto and lately. So I hope you all liked this haul video um, and I'm excited to see you in my next video. Have a great and happy weekend and happy Saturday and happy Sunday to you all. Bye.